Good day YouTubers, welcome to my channel. My name is Marat Said, and then on this video, I will show you how to take off the oil pan, clean the surface, and reseal the oil pan. So stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, you, know, you wanna lift up the car, which is on the jack stands, and have something to lay down on, which is behind me, a piece of cardboard. And then we're gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab a flashlight. So I have a flashlight like this from the Astro 30SL. This is an old, old style flashlight. So uh, we're gonna turn on the light uh, so that we can see what we're gonna do. Make sure your car is high enough to jack up. As you can see, this is the oil pan here. First things first, we're gonna undrain. We gotta take off this draining ball to drain out all the oil. After that, we're gonna unbolt all these screws around the oil pan. And there's some narrow ones all in there. We're gonna use this full little socket to get it. So it's just two of them. And then once it's done, we're gonna pry off this oil pan. And then Take it off we're going to clean the surfaces and then we will um put fresh gasket to rtv we're going to use and then we uh, put it back and reseal it so like i said first things first we got to drain on oil so i have a catch pan ready and a 14 millimeter socket with a 3 8 ratchet we're going to go under <laughs> Lay them properly, and then we're gonna reach that drain bolt right here. As you can see, because I've been doing mechanic for almost a year, that I'm so strong and I got some muscles built up and from almost every work I did because I've been doing a lot of suspension work and it requires a lot of muscles to get every starboard bolt out of it, of every suspension parts. This one is like a perfect example of what's going on. Why it is doing this, I have no idea, because there was a previous owner, this car has almost two, over 200,000 miles. oil here. That was a good time. We're gonna change this oil. It looks like there's not enough oil in there because it's been leaking a lot of oil all over the place. In my previous video I did a, a valve cover gasket replacement so which is this job is done. Now we're gonna do the resealing of the oil pan. So we get the, uh, the oil drain out and we install in the drain plug. So now our next step is to take out every bolt around it and then we're going to pry it out and then do some major cleanup and reseal. So I'm going to be using this OEM tool. It's a magnet tray and we're going to keep all bolts and nuts in this tray. So we're going to stick one here. And bolt every there we go. It's not simple guys, you know, it's not that hard, you know. Just unbolt, you know. And if you like loose like that, you just take it out and reach it out, unbolt it with your fingers, and here's one coming out. Once it's out, we put it here to keep track of it. And then we continue doing around the circumference of this oil pan. Fortunately, I kind of show you how this process is done because I'm holding the camera and the ratchet in one hand. So I'll be showing you the rest as soon as I'm done with this. Hey, oh, oh, oh. 
So unfortunately, I didn't show you guys how I take out this oil pan, but here is the oil pan right here. As you can see, it's the gasket is kind of no good. But how I take it out is I use something like a flat edge, which is this one here I use. And I go from prying somewhere here. This is where I was hitting, this side. But there is an optional tool I use, and I think that this, these are the tools that doesn't exist. And I still have them with me. Um, where, where did I put it? Let's see. <clears throat> Are the bolts here and where did I put this tool oh there it is this tool right here I used see how the sharp edge right here it's flat and it's hot space so that way you insert it here like this and then you can knock it around going from here and then that will take out the oil pan easily so, I don't know what you call this tool, but this tool has a special number, and yeah, this is an awesome tool for taking out the oil pan. So this is what I'm using. Unfortunately, now this is what I'm going to do now. Next, I'll be cleaning out around this oil pan and clean, 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 clean. Then I'll be cleaning around the mating surface. So I love old gasket here. So I'm gonna clean up all this one, make it nice and new and fresh. And then we'll install fresh new sealant and reinstall the, the bolts. Yeah. Let me show you how I'm gonna break it in stock, in stock. So I'm not gonna bore you guys how I clean it up, but this is what I'm gonna be using. A gasket scraper. I have this one stash in my toolbox for a long time as you can see all the rust here but it still does its job so i'll be using that I'll be cleaning it up with some degreaser and wash it away so stay tuned after i done all this so unfortunately i was when i was cleaning around the maiden surfaces the oil pickup tube has a lot of blockage and there was a chunk of pieces of metal in there that let me show you how it looks like and see that was inside the pickup tube and there was a lot more in there so it looks like that so it's a problem when her oil light came on because it was losing pressure now I don't know what this metal came from but I hope this engine didn't worn out or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'll continue cleaning up everything and put back everything I was and then wait for the next day for pouring the engine oil and see how this engine sounds like. So aside from that, I will continue clean it up and uh, we'll show you the installation and put in the RTV around the oil pan. Okay, so, so far I have all the bolts cleaned up and we have the surface made clean as well. I'll take it on there. As you can see, it's all nice and clear. We just have to rinse out this oil again. And then we'll put our TV on the oil pan and start sealing it up. Okay, so you want to put some RTV in these closed end. This is a timing cover. So you want to put one here and one on, on this side. So I'm going to use the RTV now. Paste it here and then after that we're going to put the RTV on the oil pan. So I'm going to use an, this nice um, gun design for these kind of silicone. 
Let me just squeeze here. It's like a cult gun. And I'm using the this brand. Versal Chim. It's mega gray. And this is a, it's a good RTB, you know. So I have two of these. So I'm going to get the other one to have it ready with me. And then we'll get started. So as you can see, I have the uh, scene install all around it. Let's go to deep. So now you have the hub extension of 10 millimeter socket. I have a couple of bolts right on the side so we can install the thing. The oil pan. Okay, so as you can see, it's installed. I'll seal up. I put uh, the new oil filter and that's about it. This job is done. And that's it for this video on replacing this RTV on the oil pan for the 09 Toyota Camry. It's a simple job, it's just uh, if you have the knowledge of doing it and experience of doing it, you'd be done faster. But it took me a while because it has, has a lot of cleanup to do and per puppy surface, everything. Most importantly, clean up the oil pan, clean up the surface of the of the engine, make sure it's clean good, apply RTV silicone around the oil pan, and then uh, install it. Make sure you have all the bolts ready to install the oil pan. Aside for that, I'd like to thank you guys for subscribing to me. And remember guys, take care. Love you guys. God bless you all. Bye-bye.